Lenovo Social, we're here at the ThinkPad 20th anniversary event at MoMA in New York City, and we are honored to be joined by former astronaut Rick Searfoss. Thanks for being with us, Rick. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Gavin, thanks. So, I understand your first mission uh, on the space shuttle uh, was in 1993, is that right? Correct, yes, on uh, board Columbia. Col the space shuttle Columbia, and uh, it was the same year that the first ThinkPad went up, and that's why we're standing in front of this ThinkPad 750C from 1993. But tell me about your early experiences, your first flight up, and what was that like to go through that? Well, it was incredible as a rookie, not knowing quite what to expect, but hearing the stories from the veterans and to get up there and find out it was so much better than they could have uh, even explained or, or told, shared with us. Uh, just a magnificent experience seeing the planet Earth from space. Uh, working hard, obviously, because you're not up there just for a vacation. You're working hard, sure. but at the same time enjoying the view, enjoying this uh, unique experience of floating weightless. And uh, t tell me what you remember about, I know you were up there pre-ThinkPad a couple of months before the first ThinkPad arrived, but what, what role did technology play at the space station? Yeah, well, you know, interestingly enough, I know ThinkPads on my first mission, but my, both my second and third mission we had ThinkPads, and instrumental in helping us have successful rendezvous and docking with the Mir space station. So I'm definitely a ThinkPad user at five miles a second. But on, that, uh, on every mission, it's a this combination of... Uh, leading edge technology and also what's tried and true. You know, once you get something that's working right and it's been certified and for space certifications it's incredible the time and expense and the shaking and the baking and the vacuum tests that you have to go through. So you once you get something that works you want to keep using it. And we found through the years the ThinkPads work great for us. They're very robust, they're durable, they work great in an operational environment like that. So we've stuck with them as they've evolved. And likewise, as uh, this human space flight has evolved and gotten more capable of building the International Space Station and amazing things going on up there. Sure. Well, and we always enjoy pointing it out to people. You know, I do social media for Lenovo and mm -hmm. talking about, you know, on the Facebook page about, you know, there's only one laptop that's certified for use yeah. on the ISS. So we obviously, Absolutely. we hot dog a bunch and ham it up. And well, up yeah. Don't blame me. Oh. Another thing that's uh, near and dear to our heart at Lenovo, and, and I know is to you, uh, has to do with STEM education, science and technology. We've uh, recently been involved with the YouTube Space Lab program, encouraging kids to get involved. What, what do you feel like is the importance? What, how can we set kids' minds alight when it comes to uh, science and technology uh, enthusiasm? I think the whole key to setting them afire, not just a light, is to give them cool stuff to do. You know, uh, for years the industry, particularly the aerospace industry, where I come from, has been bemoaning the fact that people are not coming into that field. And what do we do? We've had a lot of hand wringing and so forth. But Bert Rutan, the aeronautical genius of our day, said, you know, I don't have a problem hiring uh, the sharpest young engineers I can get my hands on because I give them cool stuff to do. And as we see that happening, and it's happening very much in aerospace now in the private sector, uh, great young space companies uh, and aerospace companies that are coming along, the kids are flocking to that. So what we need to present to young people coming up is how wonderful and cool and neat it is to do these kind of things and then let their imaginations take over and let them learn and grow. Now we need to keep them focused along the way so they build the right uh, skill set obviously and have the chops, the technical chops to be able to do it. But uh, give them something cool to do, and the rest will fall in place. Absolutely, and we'll uh, we'll do our best to keep doing that. Space is so yeah. transcendent that it's the one thing that can really, uh, yeah. I think, set set everyone's imaginations in motion. So exactly. Thanks so much for being with us, Rick. You bet. Thanks, Gavin.